You ever have one of them days you just don't feel like being at work? Is it gay to date a trans woman? What? It's one of them days for me. So welcome to the show. If you're new here, what's going on? If you crew here, like Balance Bunny, Donna, AJ, Kaylee, Monica, y'all know what's good. I have a theory that the Mandela effect is used to see how much of history can be altered in front of our eyes. Here's a prime example of one of that. There is this woman on TikTok who is going crazy because she swore the Fruit of the Loom had a cornucopia logo. And to the point that even Fruit of the Loom themselves put a timeline of all their logos and never had a cornucopia and this woman went hard her therapist told her yo you need to chill out you need to just drop this so she went through all of her old clothing and lo and behold she found a shirt with the fruit of the loom with the cornucopia logo that shows me like yo I'm, i think the mandela effect is an operation that's running around right now to see how much of history can be altered right in front of our eyes without us noticing it. and then they gaslight the public and be like nope this never happened Damn, I didn't think about it like that. Yeah, bro, people are thinking about it very little. Like, oh, it's the Berenstein Bears or the Berenstein Bears or Jiffy or Jiff's Peanut Butter. No, it's much larger than that, guys. They're using this to see, oh, if we can get people to forget certain primary things about their childhood, what can we do with history? Well, they've already done it with history. They told us that Jesus is some different color. And we don't even know. They told us that Jesus was God, but then he said he wasn't. But then maybe he said he was. So now you kind of just got to have faith and just believe whatever. They told us that the devil was a God of something. Then other people in the comments said, oh, God is a title. It's just... It really is faith. You just have to believe what you believe. Even atheism is a belief. They believe, allegedly, that there is nothing afterwards. So it's all mashed up. What are you going to do about it? Where are the men with the money that you speak of? Uh, you got rid of them, remember? You, you said it wasn't fair that men made more money, and so you insisted on an equal pay, and you asked for uh, jobs and school and money to be distributed um, towards you, and so the men who had money mm -hmm. now make not as much as you. You know, just like you wanted. That's what you wanted, right? You might notice I use the same drawings every time because it's the same thing every time. Yes, the creepy thing is you think those guys want you. They don't. You smug cocksucker. Fuck you. I'm pregnant. Boy moms. It's spooky out here. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing it. Okay. Why does that sound like an AI? Was he sleeping with an android? Is this a guy that he's talking to? Wait a minute. In your religion, you don't kill, but you have sex before marriage? Is this a millennial thing? I want to keep the baby. Of course she wants to keep the baby, you moronic fool. In fact, isn't that his partner's name? Moron? That's his name, right? Mo Moron? Myron, Myron, close. Okay, well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. You gotta not sleep around if you don't want kids. That's the only way you're gonna be certain that no one's pregnant. Ain't no good men, but these bitches stay pregnant. Uh, ain't no good men, but these bitches stay pregnant. Uh, ain't no good men, but these bitches stay pregnant. These gods are not real gods that created anything in the universe. They are just advanced beings that look like us that look like people not green men with whole, with with antennas okay not green not little green men with antennas but people that put their pants on and dresses on just like we do i'm talking about people not the creator of the universe we're talking about an advanced race that engaged us on this planet that masqueraded as gods because of their advanced knowledge and their technology when they ran into less advanced uh, indigenous cultures we deified them and said oh they must be gods look at the, look what they got they have magic just like we do today many people today would bow down in a heartbeat if they saw a man flying down from the sky the Jesus has returned. It's the second coming. They bow down and start sobbing instantly. Today, in the 21st century, they'll do that today. It happened back then as well. Nothing's new. Nothing's new under the sun. Ecclesiastes, yeah, I can quote the Bible too. That's probably about the realest, most truthful statement I've heard this guy make. 
That's why I put this clip in here. There are several theories that suggest we may be living in a simulation or maybe a matrix type system. The first person to write about this was Nick Bostrom, who wrote a paper saying that it's very difficult to disprove or prove this theory. And there are certain videos out there that will leave anyone baffled and scratching their heads. And the video that I'm about to show you guys is one of them. Check this out, pay very close attention. From the flashlight, I don't get it. I don't get it either. How am I just seeing Put it back. Circle? Check this out. How are we seeing the shadow of the tree from the flashlight when it's the sky behind the tree? And why is there a stop point at the end of my flashlight when it's pointed at the sky? Why is that going on further? Like, what the fuck is this? Don't cuss. Strange, isn't it? But it gets even stranger as the video goes on. I'm going to show you guys the rest of the video. But before I do so, a lot of people were saying that this is clouds. These are clouds or fog. Others were saying that this is because we live in the Truman Show or because we live in a firmament. I'm not exactly sure about that. What I do know and I agree with this is that do you think that the clouds are that close to the tree? I mean, no disrespect by any means, but that's awfully close to the tree line. I'm not exactly sure if fog or clouds would be that close to the tree. Not only that, it's equally close to all of the trees. This is what fog looks like. It's moving, it has wind, it's not equally close to anything. It doesn't have a pattern. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys the rest. There seems to be a pattern, like a wall behind the tree. And the owner of the video says that she was personally there, of course. She says, it's not clouds and it's not fog. So, I don't know, There's you a tell me. shadow in the sky. <laughs> Let me see if I can zoom. Check this There's out. There's a shadow. And like, I don't get it. You're going too fast, honey. Why can't okay. we see the circle of light? I don't feel like I've ever seen that before in my life. I've never seen this I have in my either. life. Not in the sky. It just kind of disappears, you know? Look at that. Oh. I wonder if I'll stay in front of the house where I can see this. You know those party lights, like the party lasers and stuff? Yeah. It just seems like too much marijuana. It seems like. I don't know, you tell me. It just... I'm trying to figure out if I can get lower mortgage payments. I don't know that I really have time to be worrying about that. I got a whole couple of car notes. I'm trying to figure out how many more YouTube videos I gotta make before that thing is paid off. I wanna believe. I don't know if I can afford to. Do not purchase an electric car. The EMF frequencies they produce harm the cells in your body and create inflammation. Secondly, it destroys your electromagnetic field, which is your shield against diseases and negative energy. Your physical health is a product of your electromagnetic field called your aura. If you do not look after this field, your body will become destroyed. When the smart grid comes out, Everything will be connected through the smart grid through 5G and they will be able to turn off your car, your bank, your phone at the click of a finger if you do anything wrong. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this, bro, but we're marching towards that. So no matter even if you don't want to get an electric car, they're making all the cars electric to the point. What are you going to do? Not piss anybody off. I tell you that much. Can anyone explain to me how I have two degrees? I have two degrees. Oh, and a certificate. A little extra, right? I have a certificate. May not, may not be a master's, but it's something extra, along with the two degrees, you know? <laughs> I'm trying to apply for jobs right now, and um, the thing is, is that the only person I have responding to me is a man from a tech, um, from a tech company saying, hey, you want to answer some customer service problems? You want to answer some customer service calls? No, Bart, I don't want to answer your calls. No, so, no offense, but I'm a little more qualified than to just, just to be sitting around answering your customer service calls, Bart, okay? I'm sorry, but that's the, but Bart is the only one who's responding to me. So what am I supposed to do? And you know, I'm looking down at these and I'm looking at them and I'm, I'm kind of wondering, I'm like, hmm, what was this for again? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I can answer that. That's because that was your trap, women. Our trap was women. And your trap is being without a man. 
Does it make sense? Yeah, go to work, get a degree. You don't need a man. Now we're not going to have no jobs for you. So the only viable job there is for you is marriage. Housewives, they get a pay. It's a stipend. You get protection. That's a part of your pay. You get provisions, food, clothing, shelter. That's a part of your pay. You get love, attention, children. That's a part of your pay. And when you become a grandmother, nobody loves anyone more than they love grandma. As a woman, you need attention. Who gets more attention than grandma? And when you die, you're surrounded by all this love and attention. I know you've been told, who needs that? That sounds stupid, but that's the way the Almighty made it. Nothing that man makes will ever be better than what the Almighty creates. As much as we don't like it, it is what it is. So unfortunately, your degrees don't have the worth that a housewife does. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Too kind. Thank you. What are these devices here? This is a water bottle. <laughs> this is a flipper zero with custom modifications. It does a lot. So this is just a proof of concept device. But when you start to add your own little additions onto it like this, for example, Wi-Fi. I'm not going to hack your Wi-Fi, but I'll give you a little example of what I can do. Okay, then we'll do... I'm not going to shut your network down. Okay, so now I can show you on my phone or you can look at your phone. But instead of me mirroring your network, I just created a bunch of fake networks. So all of these networks here, they probably appear to be legitimate, right? Yeah. But they're not. These are all fake networks? They're all powered by me. So as soon as you connect to any of those, I have your password, I have anything in between. So that's that's one thing. That's just Wi-Fi. Oh, man. Is this how people are stealing information in airport? Oh, yeah. I mean, airport, Starbucks, it's called a man-in-the-middle attack. So if I'm on the same network as you, I can essentially control the traffic as if I was the modem or router. You type Google.com. Instead of your computer telling the router you want Google.com, you're telling my computer you want Google.com, and I'm giving you what I'm telling you Google.com is. It's an evil world we live in. Apparently when you smile, the nerves in your tongue essentially paralyze, so you can't actually feel your tongue when you smile. Yeah, yeah you look cute though. You look cute. Hey, yo. Yeah, it's a lie. It's called lying. Or as the millennials call it, lacking. You got caught lacking. Now who knows what this weirdo chick is going to do with this picture of your tongue. Dude, humans believe in some crazy stuff. Oh, like it's crazy stuff. It's insane. Yeah. But but you know what what's crazy is that they think what they believe in is crazy. Like the conspiracies yeah. that humans believe in that are actually true. Like if if they knew if they knew what we know, they would lose their minds. You you want to know what a human actually asked me the other day? What he asked me, he said, uh, "Hey, do you think do you think the moon landing is real?" Really? Yeah, he asked me, and I was like, "Well, you know, I don't necessarily think humans are capable of going to the moon." Wait wait wait, do you think the moon is real? What? <laughs> <laughs> for, for a second there, I was like, ah. That was like, oh. That was funny. I get it. That was that type of funny. Like when one of your friends show you his girl, you'd be like, oh. But what the hell, but? <laughs> what you nodding for? <laughs> she, that's a human. <laughs> she got a head and arms. It's, it's official. You're dating her. If you're not a hoe, stop living like one. That's right. Get that ankle chain off. Yeah. What do an ankle chain and Jesus got in common? Well, I think it make my legs look cute. You're a liar. That's a lie. Why don't you be real? Look at your Christian sister with her halter on yeah. and her skirt no longer than my jacket. Her skirt this big, her blouse that big, yeah. and her fingernails. That long. That long. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And then she tell you, God ain't looking at you outward. <laughs> you think them long fingernails, all that plastic make you look cute? Yeah. Give Walgreens back them old paint brushes you call eyelashes. Amen. Take that fake hair out of your head. Yeah. Love the way God made you. Yes. These so-called Christian female singers out here with a tight jumpsuit on, showing every groove that God gave them. That's right. And they say they're Christian because they sang about Jesus looking like a hooker. Amen. Huh? Amen. Yeah. Just best be the way God made you. You don't know what to do with yourself. You got your tongue pierced, your nose pierced, That's navel right. pierced, you got your breast pierced. Yeah. Why? 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 Why have you butchered yourself like this? Yeah. 
Why did you put all these holes in you? Old folks say two wrongs don't make it right. That's get some right. morals, get some ethics. Stop living together, not married. That's right. Well, he promised he's gonna marry me. We got three babies. Why? Pastor Dennis, I've been wondering about that. Why he won't marry? He ain't gonna marry. He ain't thinking about marrying you because you're giving up free goods. Ooh, I can't believe he said that. We said it. Right. And we don't apologize for none of it. That's right. You're giving your Oreo cookies up free. <laughs> as long as you keep giving up free, he'll talk marriage all day. Yes, he will. You will keep having baby after baby after baby after baby before you know it, he may disappear. Yeah. Close your safe deposit box. Amen. Put some clothes on. That's it. And get them out your house. That's it. I mean, is he wrong? I mean, it doesn't matter if he's the Kevin Samuels of Christianity. Is he wrong? Ain't no good men, but these bitches stay pregnant. Uh, ain't no good men, but these bitches stay. That's all we got for today. Tune in again. We're going to do it again.